We've got about 80 hectares of floodplain at Markarenka in the Riverland. It's a very significant environmental asset. So in 2006, we were in the middle of the millennium drought. And as a consequence, the floodplains along the River Murray were suffering. A lot of the old trees on those floodplains were dying. The South Australian Murray-Darling Basin Natural Resources Management Board were undertaking the River Red Gum Rescue Project. And they came to us wanting to do a watering event to replicate a flooding event at Markarenka. And we chose to become involved and subsequently donated some water in 2009 we had another flooding event to replicate a natural flooding event. As a consequence of that we saw native fauna coming back to the floodplain. We partnered with a number of organisations to do a carbon inventory. We did that to understand how much carbon was stored and consequently wasn't being released to the atmosphere if those trees had died. We found that we were able to store 40,000 tonnes of CO2 in the tree trunks on the floodplain. So in 2011, we chose to donate some more water to the project and it was applied through drip irrigation, which isn't a traditional way of watering trees out in the wild. So it was really some thinking out of the box. This wasn't a traditional water conservation project. In this case, we were actually using water, but to an environmental benefit.